Into it's that. a miracle. It's too good to be true. Yeah. You can just make people who've struggled with their weight their entire lives thin. It's a miracle. Ozempic is everywhere now, and for some celebs, it was life-saving, but for others, it made their health problems worse than ever before. One celebrity felt so weak on Ozempic that she couldn't even play with her son. A year ago, I tried it. Okay. You know, it's like, you know, you try it. And I was one of the people that felt like so sick and like couldn't like play with my son. I was so skinny and I was just like, like he was throwing a ball at me and I was just, and you're like, okay, this isn't livable for me. Amy Schumer kept it real. Not only did she admit that she used Ozempic to lose weight, but she was honest with her experience. She also slammed other celebs who she believes are clearly on Ozempic, but then preach a healthy fitness lifestyle. Instead, she urges everyone to be real and transparent as that's the best way to live. In fact, she even admitted to getting liposuction before. Ozempic seems to be a hot button issue primarily because people never come clean that they used it to help them lose weight. One celeb, who has no shame in admitting that they wish to try the drug, is Stassi Schroeder. In fact, she wants to give it a go to lose her pregnancy weight. Ozempic. Oh my god, wait to like, I really want to try it when I give birth. <laughs> You're like, I want to go on it now, but I am pregnant, so I'm no, going like, to wait. No, the amount of times I've researched this being like, I mean, I think it's safe and healthy. Like, I think it's good for you. It's like taking vitamins. Now, we don't know how comparable it is to taking vitamins, but clearly Ozempic works. However, if you ask Sharon Osbourne, the drug might work too well as she now struggles to put on any weight. Um, I can't put on weight now. So and that, I don't know what it's done to my metabolism, but I just can't seem to put any on because I think I went too far and then I can't put it back on. She believes the drug has messed with her metabolism. She felt lured by how easy the weight loss was. When Sharon first began taking Ozempic, she had a goal in mind as to how many pounds she wanted to lose. She achieved her goal so easily that she continued using the drug and now she feels as if she went too far with it. One celeb who is staunchly against the use of weight loss drugs like Ozempic is the Game of Thrones star, Sophie Turner. In a now expired Instagram story, the actress reposted an April 2nd tweet from writer Sophie Vershbo that read, the Ozempic ads plastered across the Times Square subway station can FK all the way off. Turner shared the tweet, adding her commentary, WTF. Her reaction to the Ozempic ads comes nearly a year after she opened up about her body image struggles. For a long time, I was quite sick with an eating disorder and I had a companion, she told LUK for its June 2022 cover issue. It's a live-in therapist who would ensure I wasn't doing anything unhealthy with my eating habits. It seems as if the use of Ozempic simply doesn't sit right with Sophie Turner's morals. Clearly, most celebs knowingly take Ozempic to achieve whatever look they are aiming for. However, there have been some cases where the celeb in question took the drug without knowing what it was. This is especially true with Chelsea Handler, who was given the drug by her anti-aging doctor unknowingly. And I came back from a vacation and I injected myself with it and I went to lunch with like a girlfriend a few days later and she's like, I'm not really eating anything. I'm so nauseous, I'm on Ozempic. I'm nauseous too. And then I'm like, but I'm not on Ozempic. And she's like, are you sure? And I'm like, well, what is it? I go, I'm on semaglutide. And she goes, that's, that's so, what so it is. She quickly stopped taking it afterward as she felt irresponsible being on Ozempic while talking about following a healthy lifestyle. Good on your Chelsea. However, not everyone is so against the drug. The John and Kate Plus 8 alum, John Gosselin, regrets not taking the drug earlier. In April 2024, that he lost 32 pounds in two months after taking injections of semaglutide, the generic form of Ozempic, and then said, you know what's annoying? the regret of not starting it 10 years ago. But the drug doesn't work for everyone. Tracy Morgan joked on the Jimmy Fallon show that he took Ozempic, but still ended up gaining weight because of his eating habits. Tracy Morgan, welcome back. Thank you for What's coming up? back. What's up? Yeah. You, you look, look good, bud. Always good. Thank you, baby. You do. You look great. Yeah. I, I, how are you staying in shape these days? Well, that's Ozempic. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, but I've learned to eat. I'll, 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 I'll eat Ozempic. I gained 40 pounds. You, oh, really? 
Yeah, I gained. I never heard anyone with gaining forty. Absolutely, I'm like Magic Johnson. I gained forty pounds. <laughs> he later added that he was joking, and that in fact Ozempic did great by him, and that he was glad he used the drug to lose weight. But one person who did have a bad experience with Ozempic was Tori Spelling. She admitted that she used the drug, but didn't find it that helpful. Instead, she ended up going the Manjaro to lose her baby weight. I actually, in all fairness. My doctor did. I tried Ozempic and it didn't work for me. Um, I didn't lose any weight. So then she switched me to Monjaro. Another person who threw shade at people who use Ozempic to lose weight was Heidi Montag. She believes that using drugs like Ozempic is a way to shortchange yourself and it isn't a long-term solution to your weight lose problems. I want something that is sustainable. I want something that does also require hard work. You know, there's no shortcuts in life. And if you're taking that shortcut, I don't know. One reason why so many celebs end up taking Ozempic is simply because it works. According to Dr. Drew, if you have tried exercising and dieting and still find it hard to lose weight, there is no shame in using weight loss drugs. Please, diet and exercise, that's the way to go. But if you have tried and you have a significant medical problem with your weight, this right. works. Ozembic works. Because it's so common for celebs to use weight loss drugs to help them lose weight, whenever a new celeb comes out with their dream physique, everyone automatically assumes they were on Ozempic. This is what happened to Jessica Simpson. However, the singer denied the use of Ozempic. Oh Lord, I mean, it is not Ozempic, it's willpower. I'm like, do people want me to be drinking again? Because that's when I was heavier. Or they want me to be having another baby. My body can't do it. But not everyone is shy about their Ozempic use. Reality TV star Gara Chidagi didn't see a reason to hide being on the medication when discussing her health journey. She would prefer to just talk about it because there are so many people out there who want to do the same thing or they want to learn about what you did. She admitted that the weight loss drug helped her lose the final 11 pounds. Dolores Catania is another reality TV star who used Ozempic in the past. However, for her, the reason she is on Ozempic is for health reasons. I'm, um, I have a, um, thyroid. a thyroid issue. I have inflammation yeah. and weight is hard to take off. And I work out and I don't eat crazy and I was gaining weight and it's a lot of different layers. But other stars have had a negative result using Ozempic to treat their medical conditions. Remy Bader said that using Ozempic to treat her type two diabetes negatively affected her overall health. After she went off the drug, Bader, who has been open about her battle with binge eating, said it caused a cycle of bad binging. I saw a doctor and they were like, it's 100% because you went on Ozempic. It was making me think I wasn't hungry for so long. I lost some weight. I didn't want to be obsessed with being on it long term. I was like, I bet the second I got off, I'm going to get starving again. I did, and my binging got so much worse. So then I kind of blamed Ozempic. Rebel Wilson also admitted that she was briefly on Ozempic. It helped her drop an astounding 80 pounds. Someone like me could have a bottomless appetite for sweets, so I think those drugs can be good. Since then, she has said she is no longer on it now that she has reached a manageable weight. Seems like it is a pretty mixed bag when it comes to the pros and cons of Ozempic. Either way, the drug seems to be life-changing, for better or worse. Many celebrities have varied experiences with Ozempic, with some praising its weight loss effects, while others condemn its impact on health. Amy Schumer openly discussed using it for weight loss, criticizing those who hide their use. Sharon Osbourne struggled to control weight loss and now regrets using it. Sophie Turner, a Game of Thrones star, expressed strong disapproval, while Chelsea Handler unknowingly took the drug. John Gosselin regrets not using it earlier, while Tracy Morgan and Rebel Wilson had positive results. Others like Tori Spelling and Remy Bader had negative experiences, highlighting the mixed impact of Ozempic on different individuals. 